Well, how do that, chums? I've beaten Milena, sort of Mikula, and now I've headed over to the Earth Tree Sanctuary. So during my live stream, people told me after I beat her, I had to come this way. So heading back on up to where that fawn doll was. So here we go, we're heading up at this beanstalk. Lovely job. And then we're going to be taking a right and then straight ahead, pretty much, isn't it? So here we go through this door here. Yeah, don't jump off the side there. I was half tempted. But now you run across this bridge and through this door, and there's another point of grace which sadly doesn't actually appear on the actual map so i couldn't just start there very odd and how let's head on in here oh and when i went in here there was another little blue thing up on that bench i picked that up and it gives you a heal ability a massive heal ability which is pretty cool anyhow so now i'm just going to head on up the staircase and there you go you can see there is a fog of war boss door <laughs> so we're going to be heading up there and hitting that up and fighting a boss i would imagine heck yes well this is voiceover so yeah i know it's a boss in here so cutscene time people Long and hard didst thou fight, tarnished warrior, spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. To be granted audience once more. Upon my name as Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. Okay, right, well, this is my first encounter with Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. And, um, yeah, he seems to be a little bit freaking nasty with that blinking axe of his. Now, what I've noticed is he does a lot of stomps. When he lifts his foot up, there's a slight delay, and then he crashes his foot down. Jump, don't roll. If you roll, you get hit. You have to actually jump, and you jump sort of the shockwave. So there's a nice little tip for you. Right, so I've got my Mimic out now, and I've managed to heal myself. I mean, he just came at me after that freaking cutscene, didn't he? But he is acceptable to rot. So here you go, I've hit the rot flower on him, and look, he's taking loads of damage. So yeah, now what I need to do is just keep my distance a little. So right at this stage, I'm just going to let my Mimic go in there and do a load of damage, while I just swarm him with a load of flies in his freaking eyes. Take that, Godfrey. There's one of his stamps there, but I was miles away, so he did no damage whatsoever. Oh, not so miles away anymore. Back away, get out of his way. This guy's like a freaking truck. There's his stamp, and jump. There we go. I jumped it. Lovely jump. Freaking massive delay for that freaking stamp. And he, he usually does three. So there we go, there's, um, there's another one. And then he goes in for a big one normally at the end. There we go. I didn't jump any of those. But it hardly did me any damage because I was such a distance anyhow. But there we go. I'm going to be using this again. Maybe hopefully get a little bit more damage in. Chikapow. And it looks like we've pushed him through to phase two. Another cutscene. Ah, oh, shut up.
I've given thee courtesy enough. Just horror loo. Warrior! I think cutscene wise, I think I liked his cutscenes perhaps the most. Anyway, let us know in the comments which cutscene you've liked the most during the whole of Elton Ring. Anyhow, let's not take this guy out. I'm hitting him with that again to inflict the rot once again. So this spell I got from killing Melina, the god, the sword of millennia. Yes, so that was the choice I made with the remembrance. I could have got a lovely, lovely, super fandangly cantana. But you know, I'm rocking with the blasphemous blade and also that trident of evil. So yeah, there we go. I'm just going to throw a load of flies at him. Keep my freaking distance. Watch out for his stamps. I took that one to the face and that one. Right, okay. I'm getting ready to jump the next one. <laughs> there wasn't one. He died. Freaking heck, who's the freaking king of that? Me! Take that, you, you freaking Godfrey! Yes, lovely, we got the remembrance of Hora Lu. Is that his real name? I guess that must have been his real name and his title was the Elden Lord. But then again, his name was Godfrey? Yeah, not the most hardened of names, is it, Godfrey? Yeah. Oh, well, anyhow, we've got a point of grace. Let's hit that up, and then we can save the k game. Oh, we got enough runes to level up. I went up a couple of levels from um, that good old Millennia, the sort of Mikula. Yeah, lovely. So, yeah, I'm now a level 191, and I think we're going to be ending off fighting against the end boss now, aren't we? Heck yes. <laughs> Yeah, people, so I'm going to be up against the end boss of Elton Ring. I'm going to be going live, toe-to-toe -to -toe with him, on Monday. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.